I will no, I will no. not do anything. I will not. Yes. Okay, now uh, we've started the recording. Okay. Yes, sir. So, Peter, mm -hmm. welcome and uh, good evening. This is going to be a lesson number fifteen. And today, you know, I am uh, sort of uh, already. We have done. I have done horary astrology with you. An earlier class on what horary astrology in KP is. Yes. I have done that with you, but. Uh, I somehow get the feeling that you are not very clear on, you know, on horary astrology. Yeah, okay, so uh, I'll just tell you the concepts of horary astrology today. Okay, yeah, we will yeah. not take up any example. I'll just yeah, let okay. you, you know, because uh, the rules for, you know, the rules for predicting mm -hmm. predictions under horary astrology mm -hmm. and natal astrology are the same. Yes, sir. Except, you know, for use of ruling planets as and when required. Mm -hmm. That I have told you. But then I have the concept of horary astrology. I'll, I'll, I'll discuss that today with you. Okay. Yes, and then, okay. So without uh, wasting any time, mm -hmm. uh, I think we... I, I think we'll... Okay, so I'm going to open this right up on horary astrology. Yes, sir. See now, what exactly is horary astrology? Okay, first that you have to, there are two branches of astrology. Mm -hmm. Mainly, there are three branches. The one is mundane astrology also. Mundane astrology is, you know, that is not, that, 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 that has nothing to do with uh, human beings, you know, it is, it is to do with mundane, mundane, you know, like politics and, you know, the weather and things like, you know, earthquakes, predicting, except from mine and your chart, predicting otherwise, you know, mundane, mundane, mundane events, like, you know, politics. If you ask me a question on politics, who's going to win the election? Oh, that okay. is a part of mundane astrology. Okay. Or how how uh, India as a country is going to perform in the next year. Okay. So that is mundane astrology. Yes, sir. Not to do directly with human beings, okay? Yeah. And uh, the other one is natal astrology, which, you know, we use our birth horoscope, okay? Mm -hmm. That is nat natal astrology. Yeah. The second or the third branch is horary astrology. Mm -hmm. Now, what is horary astrology? Horary astrology is, we use horary astrology when we don't, either we don't have a natal chart, okay? We don't have a natal chart. Why? Because maybe I don't know when I was born, okay? I, so I don't have a horoscope. I don't know when I was born. Or even if I have a horoscope, I'm not sure about the correctness of the date of birth or the time. So that is as good as not having a horoscope. So then what do we do then? How, to, how do you predict about me if I don't have a horoscope? Or if you don't have a horoscope, how do I predict about you? I can't tell you, you know. Yes, so there is a way out in astrology. It is called horary astrology. Or... Yes. The art of astrology, which you, in which you predict through questions. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, horary is hora strictly means hour in Hindi. It is a Hindi word, a Sanskrit word, hora, mm -hmm. hour. Okay, so horary astrology is nothing but then you ask me a question, and based on that question, I construct a chart. Mm -hmm. Okay, I construct a chart, and I predict according to that chart. Mm -hmm. So in Vedic astrology, what happens is, Vedic astrology, I I didn't teach you horary astrology. It is called Prashna Paddhati also. Yes. Prashna means question. It is called Prashna Paddhati also in Indian astrology. I didn't teach you that because in Vedic astrology, 
there is a branch of horary astrology called prashna paddhati but it is not very accurate oh, okay. so when it comes to prashna paddhati or horary astrology i rely more on kp that is why that is why in vedic i don't teach my students horary astrology i can do it it is very simple in the sense that you know what is horary astrology now you have to understand horary astrology in vedic astrology and horary astrology in kp astrology what is the difference okay everything is there in the write up but i am just explaining to you in vedic astrology suppose suppose i don't have a horoscope okay i don't have a horoscope and you are the astrologer okay now i have to ask you a question so what do i do i'll ask you a question okay when will my when will my transfer take place or you know when will i get a promotion okay or when will i get married okay so in vedic astrology when i ask you the question okay you note down the time of the question okay. from your watch Mm-hmm. okay note down the time of it, of the question from your watch and you prepare a horoscope mm-hmm. now this becomes the birth time of the question okay it becomes the birth time suppose i am asking a question right now suppose i am what is the time right now here in india it is it is quarter to 6 yeah. about quarter to 6 here in india in the evening 5:45 pm so i am asking you a question you know when will i get married so what you will do is for this given moment you know you will prepare a hor you don't need to prepare it in the software that we are using see they'll 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 there is a column for ip instant prashna that is the question for the moment as soon as you click ip will come okay so you go to ip a chart will appear now that becomes the that becomes the natal chart for the question the time of birth it is that the question is the child okay and the and the time of birth of the child is the time of the question yes sir and then you use the rules of vedic astrology to answer my question when will i get married or when will i get promoted or when will i get transferred you know the rules mm-hmm. so instead of using a natal chart which i don't have Mm-hmm. or about which i am not sure okay uh-huh. so you use my the time of my question to okay. create a chart to create a chart and answer my question yes, yes. okay but uh, krishna murthy ji you know mm-hmm. through his research he found that you know the vedic in vedic astrology the prashna paddhati or the horary part was not proving very accurate yes sir so he devised he devised his own horary astrology it is called horary astrology in kp mm-hmm. you know this is actually the kp 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 everywhere you hear kp actually the strength of kp is the horary astrology part of kp yes yes now what krishna murthy he did is you know you in now i'll i'll read out this right up now so the rules for horary astrology the rules for horary astrology in krishna murthy paddhati i have i have laid down here yep, yep. one thing okay let me first go through it read it out and then i'll come to it i'll will discuss it. i'll discuss it later on yep. okay now horary astrology slash prashna paddhati in kp okay now first of all i have already spoken about it but yes, why horary astrology is required i am reading out yes, when natal astrology is already there okay there is a question mark the answers to this question could be many but to put it put it in short everyone does not have a horoscope and even the horoscopes that are presented for analysis more often than not do not have the accurate time of birth okay this is a big problem okay okay which in kp is of essence for accurate predictions mm-hmm. 
So in KP, you know, the sublot theory is there. So unless and until you have the exact correct time of birth, you can't rely on the horoscope. Yes, sir. Okay. So in that case, KP devised his horary padditi, system of horary astrology. Okay. So even KSK in his sixth reader says on page 16, quote, before standard time was introduced, even when our watchers show correct time, agreeing with the local time, yet the information given to the interested parties after birth of the child by the attendant differ one from the other because the medical attendants are anxious to do their jobs then to note the time. A few give time of Sarah's Udaya. A few note the time when the whole body of the child had been removed from that of the mother. There are instances when the midwife, midwife gave a time. The nurse mentioned another time, whereas the lady doctor differed from both of them. When such is the case, which time can be taken, even though the clock shows the IST, that is Indian Standard Time, correctly? Hence, the time of birth in most cases, KP himself is saying that the time of birth in most cases are not correct at all, unquote. Okay. From the foregoing, it is evident that even the great KSK, Krishnamurti, KSK was KS Krishnamurti, had reasons to believe that time of birth noted for many horoscopes, for many horoscopes, was subject to doubt as to their correctness. Okay. He therefore devised his unique system of horary astrology, which is today acknowledged world over as the most accurate Paddhati system of Prashna Jyotish. Prashna Jyotish is question astrology. Prashna means question. What is KP Horary? Okay, now, here, you know, without going into, I don't want to confuse you too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say, KP divided the zodiac. Mm -hmm. He divided the zodiac into 249 parts, yeah. unequal parts. Yeah. 249 unequal parts. You know, it is it is theoretical. If you want, you can study his books, or you can even go into Google. You will find out. I can also explain to you. Yeah. It is your. It is. It is all a mathematical. I yeah. think you will find it in my yeah. write-up also. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so he divided. Okay, first let me read it out. We all know the sublot theory. Yeah, sure. We all know the sublot theory of which of KP, wherein the zodiac has been divided into 249 parts or subs. 249 subs. With each sub having a sublot. Yes, sir. Okay. KP Horary is based on this sublot theory. Okay. Like the ruling planet theory, yep. this is also a divine science. <laughs> it is a divine science. So, you know, you like you, you don't question astrology. It is a divine science. Yep. Okay. The why and how of astrology, we don't know. Let us be very honest about it. Yeah. Why predictions come correct, we don't know. It is a bit, that is why we call it a divine science. Yeah. Like the ruling planet theory, this is also a divine science. Mm -hmm. And works accurately provided all rules are followed. And the astrologer is adept in making predictions based on KP rules. How to ask the question? Now, this is very important. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ask the querent, that is, querent is the person asking the question for a number between 1 to 249. Yep. Mm -hmm. 1 to 249. Mm -hmm. See, uh, the write ups I have already sent to you. I have yes, sent to you all the write ups. Yeah, yeah. There you will also have a table of 1 to 249 sub lots. Mm -hmm. Okay. So ask the querent, the person asked for a number between 1 to 200 with. With a particular question in mind. Mm -hmm. See, when he uh, wants to ask you a question, you tell him, okay, with a question in mind, you give me a number at random, any number that is coming to your mind right now, mm -hmm. between okay. the range is from 1 to 249. Okay. 
prepare a horary chart for the number given by him her by going to the horary option in the true astrology software or whichever other software that you may be using there are so many softwares okay use only kp new ayanamsa option okay the chart will appear in front of you once you have fed all the data required mm -hmm. you can start making predictions with the guidelines rules as enumerated below okay i'll we'll open a chart also okay okay now rules guidelines pertaining to horary predictions the general rules for predicting events oblique incidents are the same for horary as they are for the natal charts the rules are generally in general the same okay for example if the question is when will i get married okay you have to judge the seventh cuspal sublord mm -hmm. and the significators for marriage as you would in any natal chart mm -hmm. rules are the same okay <laughs> similarly for any other question the same combination that you judge a in a natal chart are to be judged or analyzed mm -hmm. the major difference between horary and a natal chart vis-a-vis -vis judgment oblique analysis is regarding retrograde planets okay in a natal chart retrograde planets do not have any impact on the outcome of the result in a natal chart in kp we don't retrograde planets they don't have any impact okay in 3 number 3 in a horary chart retrograde or vakriya in hindi we call them vakriya planets as they are called in hindi do have an impact on the result there are two main rules pertaining to retrograde planets in horary astrology number 1 if the cuspal sublord of the primary cusp in question okay if the cuspal sublord of the primary cusp in question is retrograde is a retrograde planet and is signifying and promising an event the event will not take place till the planet comes back to direct motion if the cuspal sublord of the primary cusp in question is a planet which is sitting in the star of a planet which is retrograde then the event being judged will not materialize at all okay to understand suppose we are judging the event of marriage okay if the seventh cuspal sublord is promising marriage but is retrograde okay the marriage will not take place till this sublord comes back to direct motion okay now if this same cuspal sublord is sitting in the star or nakshatra of a planet which is in retrograde motion then marriage will not take place at all please note that there are one or two exceptions to this rule which we shall discuss later similar rules are to be followed for most predictions okay you understand now yeah, suppose yeah. marriage marriage what do we see mainly the primary cusp is the seventh house yeah. so the seventh uh, cusp is sublord we see it has to be connected with the marriage giving houses then marriage takes place mm -hmm. but suppose this seventh cusp is sublord is in retrograde motion mm -hmm. then till this seventh cusp is sublord from the ephemeris you can see when it is coming back to normal motion yeah. direct motion mm -hmm. till this comes back to direct motion marriage will not take place mm -hmm. this is rule number 1 yeah rule number 2 is if this seventh house cusp is sublord mm -hmm. is sitting in the star of a planet which is retrograde mm -hmm. then the event is denied marriage will not take place mm -hmm. this is what krishnamurti ji says okay yes, yes. there are one or two exceptions we'll discuss as we go along mm -hmm. so you have to you know the concept because see now what i am doing is i am clubbing you know for every topic like marriage profession progeny i am discussing cases 
which have i have predicted through natal as well as through horary rules are the same okay now even number 4 even significator planets will generally not give the results till they are retrograde that is till they do not come back to direct motion see in horary the retrograde planets play a role okay let's put it that way okay number 5 the use of ruling planets is more in horary astrology then in natal astrology okay number 6 time and place of judgment now this is very important this is very important place of judgment is where the astrology is and time of judgment is when the astrology of wishes to start and judge or analyze now suppose you are the astrologer i am the querent i am asking you a question okay so the place of judgment for that we see the we have to see the latitude and longitude no yeah. that will be bangkok okay yes, nice. the chart the horary chart that you are going to prepare in that you are going to put the latitude and longitude you have to fix a place of bangkok yeah. not of ranchi from yeah. where i am asking the question yeah. and the time of judgment will be whenever you feel like judging the question mm-hmm. it is not necessary mandatory that you know i am asking you a question right now so you have to judge it right now no mm-hmm. you can judge it you know after 2 hours you can judge it tomorrow you can judge it after 2 days after 3 mm-hmm. days so that will be the time and place of judgment mm-hmm. of course i can't go beyond a very reasonable you can't say i'll judge it after one year no oh, yeah okay it, it has to be within a reasonable 2 3 days 4, four days 10 days 15 days okay yeah. so time and place of judgment place of judgment is where the astrology is and time of judgment is when the astrologer wishes and starts to judge or analyze yeah. suppose a question is asked to the astrology at delhi mm-hmm. asked at delhi by phone from kolkata mm-hmm. okay and the astrologer wishes to judge it at kolkata then place of judgment will be kolkata and suppose the astrology is traveling to chennai Mm-hmm. and wishes to judge the question when he arrives in chennai then the place of judgment becomes chennai that means the latitude and longitude of chennai will be taken while preparing the chart okay the question may be asked at any time but the time of judgment will be the time when the astrologer of wishes or decides to take up the question or judge or analyze it number 7 the question must be asked in all seriousness not to test the astrology okay it has to be asked in all seriousness do not reply to questions or judge them if you feel the querent is not serious or is testing your skills and as, as an astrologer mm-hmm. okay judge the question as and when you feel like judging it with a free and unbiased mind that is very important with a free and unbiased mind okay whether query is genuine or not position and significations of moon this is very important yep. okay remember this is very important whether query to check the genuine genuineness of the query mm-hmm. whether the question has been asked in all earnestness mm-hmm. genuine question or not check the significations of the moon in the horary chart mm-hmm. if moon signifies the question asked or is connected you know with the with the relevant houses or planets yeah. if it has any connection the query can be taken as genuine and the astrologer can proceed with the analysis if moon is not at all connected with the question the querent is not serious about this question and the astrologer should not judge it Mm-hmm. okay okay now number 10 promise of the event whether negative or positive importance of 11th house in horary chart this is very important okay to judge whether the question asked or the event in question will take place or not judge the significations of the 11th cuspal sublord mm-hmm. fulfillment of wishes Mm-hmm. of the 11th cuspel sublord or connections of the 
significators of the event with the 11th cusp. If the 11th cusp is strong, oblique connected to the event giving houses or planets, the event or the question would generally indicate a positive outcome. In cases where you have any doubts as to whether a significator indicating both negative and positive results will give positive or negative outcome, check the signification of the 11th cuspid sublord. Okay. If this is positive, generally the outcome or wishes are fulfilled. If 11th signifies negative result, in such borderline cases, the outcome would generally be negative. Okay. To understand this, assume that in a horary chart, any planet, say X, is signifying both sixth and seventh houses mm -hmm. in a marriage related query. Mm -hmm. Okay. In such a case, if the 11th cuspid sublord is showing positive connections, the answer would generally be on the positive side. Mm -hmm. If the 11th cuspid sublord is only connected with only the 11th house in a query and the astrologer has such a doubt, the outcome would generally be positive. Okay. In horary, it is important for the lagna also to be strong. Okay. When we say lagna to be strong, that means this, the sublord of the lagna should be connected with positive planets and houses. Yeah. That is what we say when we, uh, when, what we mean when we say the lagna should be strong. Yeah. Number 12, significators of the event giving houses will only give the event during their dasa combinations. This is important, okay? If you are using ruling planets, the significator should also be a ruling planet. You have to decide whether you are going to use RPs or not or when you are going to use RPs. It is not mandatory or necessary or compulsory to use ruling planets, okay? I think you have a fair idea about ruling planets, okay? Okay, so this is the write-up, okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, what we will do is, one minute. One second. Just wait for a second, okay? Yes, sir. I'm trying to ch open an actual horary chart, okay? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is, you know, the software. the software doesn't open, you know, when Zoom is on, but I'm trying. Okay, let me see.
Okay, I'll try and open a real chart. Okay, Peter, can you see? Yep. It's coming. Yep. I have opened a real chart. Yep. You can see it now. Yes, sir. You can, no? Yeah. yeah now, see, uh, see, when you have to prepare a horary chart, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this is the true astrology software. I hope it works. Yeah. See, left hand side, top corner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. N is there. So this is when you want to prepare a new natal chart. Yep. Okay. Yep. Then this is H. Mm -hmm. This is for a new horary chart. Yep. And this is IP. Instant Prashna, I told you, you know. Yep. Instant Prashna. That is for the moment, given moment. Yep. Yep. If you want to construct theory chart for the given moment, you have to press here on IP. But now we are talking about H, horary. Mm -hmm. how, how to go about this? Okay, now. H. When I tap on H, so I am going to prepare a new horary chart. Let's yes. see if this is responding or not. Okay. Now, can you see this table that has come up? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, I'll see, I'll put your name. Suppose. Peter, okay. Peter, and then I'll just put the question here, here itself. Peter, I'll put the question here itself. Say promotion, when, okay? Promotion, when? Okay, now. These are categories. If you want, you can change the category here. You can uh, cricket elections, so various profession and look. Okay, I'll put profession career. Okay. See the date is date comes here automatically. Okay, the time is appearing automatically. Mm -hmm. Okay, now place. You know, I have fixed my place because I'm I'm here at Ranchi. So whenever I do a horary question, it is mostly at Ranchi. Suppose yeah. I've gone to Delhi and I'm carrying this with me, this laptop. Mm -hmm. So when I judge it from Delhi, then I'll have to put the place I'll have to change from here yeah. for the for changing the place. You can go here, bottom, yeah. you see here, change yeah. place. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, for yourself, you have to, yeah. by yeah. default, you have to put Bangkok. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So now I put the question, the time is there, the date is there. Mm -hmm. Now, see chart type. Horary. Yeah. Let, can you see here? Yeah. Yeah. Chart type horary. There are two types of horary. You forget this. One, two, two, one, nine, three. This is another paddhati. This yeah. is a further research on KP that somebody has done, but don't go for that. Horary one, two, two, forty nine. Can you see here? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So tap on this. Now for your question, when you want, when you uh, expect a promotion, you give me a number uh -huh. between one to two forty nine. Tell me a number. 40. Sorry? 40. 40. Four zero. So I put four zero here. Okay. Or if somebody says no, I cannot give a number, then you can go here and generate a random number. So I've you've given me 40. So now everything is fed. Okay. Now I just have to tap on okay. Do you want to save this chart? Yes. Okay, so data saved. This will disappear. This will disappear. Now this horary chart has come. Yes, sir. See? 
you go to the top you'll see all the details see mm-hmm. peter is written there yeah, promotion mm-hmm. peter promotion promotion when horary okay horary number you will find okay yeah. and then the time place of judgment everything yeah. the chart is there in front of you yeah. mm-hmm. now here right side you see right side bottom here yep. can you see this yes sir what is written here mm-hmm. uh planet nakshatra no no here here right hand bottom corner okay how signification okay tap here yep. see this kp how significator table comes yes sir uh uh-huh. okay and if you want to change this is the north indian style so in kp we are following the south south indian style so we can customize okay customize preferences go to preferences go to preferences north indian south indian so i want south indian yeah. east and east indian western everything is given there okay so and i will save settings okay, yeah. by default you have to keep these you know this mean rahu mean geocentric mm-hmm. apply all these things and i'm sorry i told you mm-hmm. kp new yeah. all these settings you have to do by default okay mm-hmm. so you save the settings mm-hmm. it's taking a lot of time okay so now this is the chart okay this is the chart for peter who wants to know when his promotion will take place so we apply the rules okay yep. suppose 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 forget promotion suppose this was for marriage yep. since you know promotion i'll have to tell you the rules again 2 6 10 11 <laughs> so suppose marriage marriage see the seventh sub lord Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. who is the seventh sub lord? Jupiter, sir. Jupiter. Mm-hmm. See whether Jupiter has connections with any of the marriage giving plan uh, houses. Second house, it does not seem to have any connection. Seventh house, it does not seem to have any connection. Eleventh mm-hmm. house, it has a connection. Okay, mm-hmm. so we say marriage will take, take place, place. Mm-hmm. and then we do the prediction. Yeah. Mm-hmm. prediction like we do for suppose any natal chart okay yeah. then we will see the significators for marriage the significators for second seventh and 11th house 2 7 and 11 so they become our significators so when these significators they act in tandem we'll see the dasha period what dasha period is running right now okay it is mercury okay yeah So it is Mercury. We tap here. So two thousand up to Mercury Jupiter running up to two thousand December two thousand twenty three. Okay. So Mercury Jupiter Mars is running. So now let's see. Mercury is appearing as the Mahadasha Lord is appearing as one of the significators of the second house. So it's fine. Mm-hmm. you know the mahadasha lord even if it is signifies strongly weakly okay mm-hmm. that means marriage is promised so now next is jupiter mm-hmm. now jupiter is running jupiter antar dasha is running yeah. so we see what jupiter is signifying jupiter is signifying yeah. jupiter is signifying the 11th house mm-hmm. okay now we have to see which are the strong significators of for marriage moon venus k2 and then saturn now we have to see what is see jupiter now you have to see the sub lord of jupiter sub lord of jupiter is jupiter again yeah mm-hmm. so okay so jupiter is not signifying any of the marriage giving house given houses very strongly yeah mm-hmm. okay yeah. so maybe marriage may not take place till december i'm just teaching you you know you have to go into further details yep. so now we go back and see what comes after jupiter so mercury mercury jupiter we have seen jupiter runs up to 2023 so mercury saturn 
we have to see mercury saturn next is mercury saturn so mercury saturn will run up to 2026 mercury is now what is saturn signifying see now saturn is a strong significator of the 11th house one of the marriage giving houses yes. mercury we have already seen so saturn starting from december 2023 till which date you know jupiter was running mm-hmm. after that saturn starts and mm-hmm. it runs up to 2026 so we have 3 years in hand yep. so saturn is one of it is it is likely to give marriage yep. okay mm-hmm. then all these other combinations then you have to see when moon is another we need 2 7 and 11 mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. when we see when when are we getting moon moon we are getting in 2025 right when are we getting venus venus we are getting in 2025 seventh house k2 okay k2 is you know k2 is k2 we are getting in 2024 okay k2 is starting next year 9th uh, september to k2 k2 and rahu will have other connotations also so many other connotations so this is how we judge and now like you know like treating this like a natal horoscope yes, yes, we have yes. to give the judgment yeah mm-hmm. so for a uh, for a horary mm-hmm. you have to put your you must have i'm sure you must have put your mm-hmm. default place as bangkok only in your horoscope yeah, yeah. you must have so you know how to generate a horary chart yeah. for judgment you know how to do it now yes yeah, sir mm-hmm. okay yep so i will leave you here i am not going to take any i am not going to explain any example yeah. to you right now mm-hmm. i'll leave you here uh-huh. and if you want to go into you know the 12249 logic mm-hmm. then next class i will explain that to you also mm-hmm. yep i have already done it but mm-hmm. now i think you know after you will get a better hang of it yep although yep. it is only theory Yeah. it will not help you in a, in any manner it will only help you if you want to teach astrology to somebody yeah okay mm-hmm. but as an astrologer you should know yes sir if you have books of krishna murti i don't know when you if, if you whether you have purchased the books of krishna murti or not mm-hmm. if you are not purchased then you should get them through amazon okay yeah, okay so there all explanations are given even in my notes all the explanations are given Mm-hmm. but i'll teach you yeah, i'll yeah. teach you the theory of 1 to 2 for now is this clear now 1 to 2 49 yeah 1 to 49 yeah mm-hmm. yes sir 1 to 200 and 49 uh-huh. see the number number means mm-hmm. number 40 40 means it is 40 is a particular space in the zodiac mm-hmm. of for which you know this the the ascendant lord will be venus okay mm-hmm. now see 40 is what the ascendant is taurus mm-hmm. 40 this this up chart that is appearing this is for the number 40 designated by krishna murti ji mm-hmm. the ascendant is taurus ascendant lord is venus mm-hmm. the star lord of mm-hmm. number 40 mm-hmm. is mars mm-hmm. and the sub lord for number mm-hmm. 40 is jupiter so this is this next time i'll explain to you okay what this means now yes sir i'll end this class today yes, you know with this yes, what i have okay. taught you we'll meet tomorrow yes, i'll try and explain to you what how and why the logic of 12249 yes, okay yes, i'll do that right. yep. thank you okay? sir okay is it clear i will not i will not you know i will not <laughs> i will not so yes sir I, i i know it's pretty heavy but yeah. so so yes yeah, so, yeah, okay, okay then okay bye 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 bye